such a sweet little ride. <laughs> oh, this thing's such a little sweetheart. <laughs> oh man, I love this thing. Panigale, we got an MV up here. What do you say we pass them on the outside? Aprilia power, baby. <laughs> What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Yammy Noob. Today we are taking the Aprilia RS660 out on track. Now, as you guys know, this is our giveaway Aprilia RS660. Hit the link below to yammynoob.co to find out how you can get entered to win this motorcycle for free. It's gonna be a pretty spicy one and I can't wait to get this thing out on track. The formula is there for a fantastic machine to rip around some corners. It has rebound adjustable suspension at the front, preload and rebound at the rear, lightweight, good power. It has all the right ingredients to make it a fantastic track weapon. So today, we're gonna take you through what I did to get this thing to be track worthy, some of the adjustments I made. We're gonna get it out on track to do a raw first impression. And then we're gonna come back here in the garage and do a final wrap up to see what I think of this machine out on track. Now, an important thing to note is I am not a professional rider. I am merely a track day enthusiast and club racer. So that puts me probably at the 60th or 70th percentile in terms of track day riders. I am nothing special, but I do have a fair bit of amount of experience putting several motorcycles on track, and I feel pretty confident telling you guys today about that. So let's take a look at what I did to this motorcycle, and let's get it out on track. All right, guys, so the RS660 is actually set up pretty well from the factory. It comes equipped with these Rosso 2 tires. These are a pretty sticky track day kind of tire. Uh, and so the first thing I did was set them to 31 PSI. You're lowering the PSI on the tire a little bit to give you a little bit more grip and confidence on track. The next thing I did was check my rider set at the rear shock. Now, I'm kind of lucky that at about 5 foot 11 and 170 pounds, it seems like most springs work really well for me from the factory. As I sat on this thing, I measured about 29 millimeters of rider sag, which is right within spec with what you want to see. And so I did need to crank a bunch of preload on this spring to get it to be just right. The next adjusters we have on the Aprilia R660 are the rebound adjusters front and rear. Now, this motorcycle doesn't feature compression adjustment, only rebound front and rear. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but you work with what you've got. So the rebound adjusters on this bike basically just make the bike springier or stiffer. Um, that seems to be all they're really doing and you can really feel it when you dial it forwards and back. Now one of the most annoying things on this bike is to actually dial in the rebound adjusters on the rear shock. You have to take off both seats and a plastic piece on the side which I demonstrate with this photo right here. So that is a little bit of annoying to do quick adjustments on the fly. I found the rear to be close to what I wanted to. I dialed in a little bit stiffer just to get the rear to be sitting a little bit nicer. And then the front, however, was very, very underdamped from the factory. We were about three clicks from the softest setting, so I dialed in about four clicks of rebound on both legs of the forks there uh, because both of them are just doing rebound adjustment. So you just dialed in four clicks on each side, and the bike seems to be set up pretty nice and stiff. Now, one thing that does suck is I did not get the chance to put tank grips on this motorcycle, so we're kind of dealing with that. Uh, there's no adjustments for the rear set, so we're just working with those. There's no adjustments for the clip-ons. They kind of just sit where they sit, and so everything else we got to work around a little bit but I have no problem doing that because I'm pretty familiar with riding a bunch of different motorcycles on track and there's no way I'm going to drag heart parts on this thing today so let's get it out on track and let's check it out. Alrighty everybody we are heading out on track with the RS660. Now I already took it out for its first shakedown lap make sure everything was feeling good so this is not my raw first impression but it is a bit of a first impression on this bike and I gotta say I am very impressed with this machine. It's so easy to ride. It's so simple, so fun. So what we're gonna do here as we normally do since we're on street tires, we're just gonna get this. Can you believe this sound? Stock bike, that is so cool. Anyways, we're gonna get some heat in the tires. We blew that apex a little bit, but that's fine. Because all we're doing right now is just getting some nice heat in these tires, feeling this out. Great mid-range punch through this bike, it's so nice. The word I'd use for the Aprilia is just friendly, man. This bike is so friendly. This is a great platform to learn with. 
such a sweet little ride. You can push really hard with it, it's so fun. Auto blip works excellently. Conditions are okay today. It's about 62 degrees, a little windy. to get around this guy. Playing it nice and safe today. We're on the first lap. We don't need to do any extreme race passes. I'll get this guy on the outside here on this roundabout. Or not. Maybe I'll get him in this corner. Killing on the RS. Now let's have some fun, shall we? Now you gotta be mindful with the auto blip because it uh, won't give you the gear you're looking for if you're too aggressive with it. Got to take a little bit of time with it, and then it allows for you. Can you believe how hard you can? Oh my God, this looks great! <laughs> oh, this thing's such a little sweetheart. Top of four, cruising. In with this. Oh, the mid range is great. Oh man, this little bike is so fun to ride. So fun to ride. We've got some students up here. believe it? Excellent machine. I can't believe the sound this thing makes. It's so cool. with it. Where this really makes a difference is the mid-range punch. This thing pulls so nicely out of corners. Golly, it's 
so easy to ride. Oh my god. Oh, Aprilia's done something special here. as we can. with these beginners here try to get past them as soon as we can up here. What do you say we pass them on the outside? Aprilia power, baby! <laughs> blip kind of screwed up on me there. I'm stuck in third gear. That's okay. Oh my god, this thing is so sweet, dude. Alright, it looks like I've got some pretty clear track ahead of me. down here a little bit. I want to get one good hot lap in at the front straight. Oh, that sound is so satisfying. Oh my god, this bike's so good. It does exactly what you want it to do. Brilliant. Oh my god, hats off! This bike's so good! So 
lightweight, so nimble. the front straight here. I want to lay down a nice hot lap. See what kind of times I'm doing on the old Trillia. So here we go. Blipper works a little poorly there. So I try to get a good lap. Trail it in. There we go. On the boil. On the boil, little RS. On the boil. Fourth gear. Down two gears. In and out, get it done. this bike so hard it's ridiculous. Get off the apex if you're pitting out, god damn it! Rewarding, and it tells you when you've gotten it wrong. It's so great. There's that brake again. Yeah, brake lever is iffy, you know, it's a little iffy. That was a decent little hot lap. I am thoroughly impressed with this bike. We're just kind of cooling off right now. Let's have fun at this guy. Got a little 600 here, fully prepped on slicks.
tell that's a fully prepped 600. He's not really getting away. Get his hand up. It's not fair, he let me pass, I should have passed him. fun god this bike's fun all right guys let's talk about the uh, impressions spoiler alert they're very good <laughs> this bike fucking rules oh man dude Alrighty everybody, wrapping the day up here with the Aprilia RS 660. Um, this bike is is so, so special. Um, I don't say that that often, I don't think, but um, this thing is so great to ride on track. It is so fun, it is so flattering, and I really, really enjoyed it uh, around ECR here, Eagles Canyon Raceway. As I'm sure you guys could tell in my microphone, audio, and my helmet, um, it is just a fantastically fun motorcycle. So I took a couple notes so that I could keep track of what I thought after I came back from my session. So number one, it's a really fun and rewarding to ride motorcycle. That should come as no surprise to anyone. It's a lightweight, nimble, good handling little motorcycle. A lot of fun. Um, it's kind of ridiculous how well set up it is from the factory. The chassis is so playful. The engine sounds great. It revs out really nicely. And despite the fact that it only has rebound adjustability, it makes you realize how important those fundamentals on a racetrack and on a motorcycle are. The chassis is just sublime. The motorcycle feels great. Um, you realize that things like weight, the geometry, the setup are way more important than the high quality parts you'll see on top end leader bikes like Brembo style and McCallipers and electronically adjustable Olin suspension. The only thing I would change on this motorcycle is the brake lever. I would just personally swap out for an RCS 17 or 19 depending on how spicy I was feeling. Just to get a little more feedback through the lever, I did feel like this master cylinder would just left a little bit to be desired. Um, the mid-range punch is super awesome on this motorcycle. Cycle. You don't even really miss the top end power. Um, honestly, you kind of forget to rev it out. This thing actually screams pretty good at 12 and a half thousand RPM. Um, and honestly, when you think about it, because this motorcycle only has rebound adjustability, that makes it really simple for entry level track day riders. All you got to do is just tweak the knobs. There's only one setting, so just make it springier or softer or firmer or more damped, and uh, you'll be good to go. It's really simple to feel the changes that that one knob does as well. Um, I don't really notice the electronics on it. It just feels like an honest and simple motorcycle to ride, and it's why we like motorcycles, I think. Um, yeah, I had a ton of fun with this thing out on track today. I think anybody who is a track day enthusiast or a sport bike enthusiast would take this thing around and have a lot of fun with it. It's a super playful motorcycle, super fun to ride, and I really, really liked it. I'd rate it like a nine and a half out of 10 in terms of the enjoyment I had with it on track. I'm sure, again, as you guys could tell, my vlog with it. And in 
in case you fast boys are wondering, my best time on this machine today was a 217. That is about 11 seconds slower than what I normally do on my race prepped 675R. But it does feel a little unfair to compare because that motorcycle is 40 pounds lighter and makes about, I don't know, 35 more rear wheel horsepower. So it's a little unfair. But I don't really care about the lap times on this thing because I had so much fun riding it. Thanks again for watching today's episode. Be sure to stay tuned for more RS660 content. Remember, we were giving this motorcycle away, and we'll catch you on the next one. See you later. Oh, hey, you're still here. I can't believe you made it to the end of the video. Not many people do. Just for you, I have a little treat. Hit this link over here. Check out the next video on the Yemi Noob catalog. What's going to happen in it? I don't really know. Maybe there's a boost in it. Maybe there's some cool wheelies. Maybe there's some fun memes. Probably. Who can say?